2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Matthew 5, 14. You are the light of the world. A city located on a hill cannot be hidden. John 1, 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become God's children. To those who believe in his name. John 15, 15. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant doesn't know what his Lord does, but I have called you friends. For everything that I heard from my Father, I have made known to you. Romans 5, 1. Being therefore justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 6, 6. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him that the body of sin might be done away with, so that we would no longer be in bondage to sin. Romans 8.1 There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who don't walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Romans 8, 14 through 17. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are children of God. For you didn't receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified with him. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good, for those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 37. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Romans 12, 2. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what is the good, well-pleasing, and perfect will of God. First Corinthians six seventeen. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit. First Corinthians six nineteen through twenty. Or don't you know 
that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you, which you have from God. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. First Corinthians twelve twenty seven. You are the body of Christ. Second Corinthians two fourteen. Now thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ, and reveals through us the sweet aroma of his knowledge in every place. Second Corinthians 5.20 We are therefore ambassadors on behalf of Christ, as though God were entreating by us. Second Corinthians 5.21 For him who knew no sin, he made to be sin on our behalf, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I that live, but Christ living in me. And that life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. Galatians 4 7. So you are no longer a bondservant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Ephesians 1 3 through 7. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we would be holy and without defect before him in love, having predestined us for adoption as children through Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his desire, to the praise of the glory of his grace, by which he freely gave us favor in the beloved, in whom we have our redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. But God, being rich in mercy, for his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, so that no one would boast. Ephesians 2.10 
for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared before that we would walk in them. Ephesians 2.13 But now, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off are made near in the blood of Christ. Ephesians 5.8 For you were once darkness, but are now light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Philippians 3.20 For our citizenship is in heaven, from where we also wait for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Colossians 2, 9 through 10. For in him, all the fullness of the Godhead dwells bodily. And in him, you are made full who is the head of all principality and power. Colossians 3, 1-3 If then you were raised together with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated on the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. First Thessalonians 5.5 5. You are all children of light and children of the day. We don't belong to the night, nor to the darkness. Second Timothy 1 7 For God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. Second Timothy 1 9 he who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before times eternal. 1 John 3, 1-2 See how great a love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God. For this cause, the world doesn't know us, because it didn't know Him. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it is not yet revealed what we will be. But we know that when He is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him just as he is.